Hey everyone, this is Joe with Quad Specs, and today we're going to go over part three of the series to discuss upgrading your motors on your Eshim E010 or E011. If you haven't already, make sure you check out part one and part two where we discuss adding an FPV style camera and upgrading your battery on these drones. So without any further delays, let's get started. So as mentioned in our previous reviews, the Eshim E010 is great out of the box if you're just planning on flying around the house without any added accessories. But as soon as you put an FPV camera or a heavier battery on it, you're going to want to upgrade to something with more power. So here we are on a straightaway and we both make a sharp turn to the right. One of us hits the ground and the other one skims the ground. So the reason for that is we're using the stock motors in this video and there just isn't enough torque on these to pull out of the straightaway because there's so much momentum going in that way that the, the motors have to provide a lot of torque to change direction quickly. So these stock motors are really not capable of that and that's why we recommend upgrading to something with a little more power. So a lot of you already know that there are plenty of options out there to upgrade the motors for the E010 which is the 6x15 millimeter motor. So here at Mid-America Multi-Rotor uh, you can see they have quite a they've got four different options. All of these are upgrades to the originals. Um, so there's the Let's see, the Special Sauce, the Super Fast, the Insane, and the Beyond Insane motors. So there's a wide variety of motors here, uh, but what you will notice is there aren't any 7 by 16 millimeter, which is the size for the E011. Uh, so going over to Kato's mic micro motors, you're going to see much of the same 6 millimeter and the 7 millimeter by 20 millimeter, so that's not going to work for the E011. And if you move over to Racer Star, which is the manufacturer motors, they only have 6x15 and 8.5x20. And moving over to Chaoli, who is also a, ma a motor manufacturer, uh, if you look at their 7x16 specification and come down here, this 60,000 RPM is what comes stock on the E011. So that's the largest or the highest rating that they have on their spec sheet. So it looks like there really aren't any options at the moment for upgrading the E011 motors, but that's not really a problem because that thing comes stock with motors that are capable of handling an FPV camera. So we're really only looking at upgrading the motors for the E010 at this point. So for the E010 upgrades, the only ones to date that we've tested out would be the Racer Star 59,000 RPM, which we have here, and the Chaoli 59,000 RPM, which is installed on our other drone. So um, both of these perform very similar. This video shows the big difference between the stock motors and one of these has the Racer Star 59,000, the other one has the Chaoli. And you can tell from the footage that neither of them have any problem cutting through corners and they perform very well for the purpose of indoor drone racing. We didn't go over installation of motors in this video, so if you need help with that, be sure to check out our tutorial that has installation tips and tricks uh, to help you out with that process. So we've got plans for a lot of great videos on the way and this is a sneak peek of one where we're going to test the thrust of the different motors for these two drones and compare the results between the different brands and speeds. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing those results. And up next for our series is part four where we will discuss modifications to the stock propellers as well as some of the um, aftermarket propellers that are available. Thanks for watching, comment or like below and we'll see you next time.